Dear students, today we shall discuss exercise number uh, 7.1, problem number 6, NCRT book, class 10. Now, we consider this 6 number, name the type of quadrilateral form, if any, by the following points and give reasons for your answer. So, this is our problem. Quadrilateral means it has four sides. It may be rectangle, it may be square, rhombus or parallelogram. Any one of these. But uh, what type of quadrilateral form by the help of these points we want to examine. Name the types of quadrilateral form if any by the following points and give reason for your answer. Now first you consider the points are a, B, C, D. Solution. Let the points be A minus 1 comma minus 2, B 1 comma 0, C minus 1 comma 2, D 3 comma 0. We consider these are the four points. Now, first you have to find A, B. Distance between two points, 1 minus minus 1, 1 minus minus 1, whole square, 0 minus minus 2, whole square. This will be 1 plus 1, whole square. This is 2 square. This is 2 square, 2 square. And this will be 4 plus 4. And this is 8. 8 means 2 root 2. We get 2 root 2 is AB. Now BC. BC what we get? BC. Uh, this C. This is B. Minus 1 minus 1 whole square. 2 minus 0 whole square. This is minus 2 whole square. 2 square. 4 plus 4. This is root 8. This is 2 root 2. We get this is also 2 root 2. Now, uh, B, C, A, B, B, C, C, D. C, D. We consider C, D. Minus 3, minus, minus 1. Minus 3, minus, minus 1 whole square. Plus 0, minus 2 whole square. So, minus 3 plus 1 whole square minus 2 square. This is minus 2 whole square. 1 minus 3 minus 2 whole square. And this is 4. Root of R 4 plus 4. This is 8. This is 2 root 2. We get 2 root 2. Again, DA. DA. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. D, A, ending is A, we start from A. So, this will be minus 1, minus, minus 3, whole square plus, uh, this is minus 2, minus 0, whole square. And this will be minus 1 plus 3, whole square, minus 2 square, and this is 2 square plus 4, 4 plus 4, this is root 8, this will be 2 root 2. So, we get A, B, B, C, C, D. All the values are equal. Now, if all the values are equal, it may be square or rhombus. But we can't say this all the sides are equal, this will be square whether is square or rhombus. If it is square, then diagonals will be equal. And if it is rhombus, the diagonals are unequal. Now, first we find diagonal. Now, we can draw roughly one figure. This is, uh, this is our figure. We consider one figure, A, B, C, D. Now, we get all the sides are equal. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, all the sides are equal. Now, whether AC and BD are equal or not. If AC, BD equal, then this will be obviously square. And 
AC and BD not equal, then this is rhombus. So, first define AC. AC means root over AC minus 1 minus 1 whole square. AC, this minus this whole square plus uh, plus uh, 2 minus minus 2 whole square and this will be minus 1 plus 1 whole square and this is 2 plus 2 whole square this is 0 square plus 4 square this is 4 square equal to 4 we get so we get 4 now bd 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 we can write bd minus 3 minus 1 whole square minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus uh, 0 minus 0 whole square this is minus 4 whole square plus 0 square this is 4 square and this will be 4 so what we get diagonals also equal all the sides are equal and diagonals are also equal so what we get so obviously this is a square square means all sides are equal and diagonals also equal then this is called a square uh, here we get same region but if diagonals are unequal then this will be rhombus therefore since what we get a b equal to b c equal to c d equal to d a and AC equal to BD. AC equal to BD. Therefore, the given points are the vertices of a square. The given points are the vertices of a square. So, answer is a square we get. Now, we consider number 2. Minus 3, 5, 1, 3, 1, 0, 3, minus 1, minus 4. Now, whether it is uh, what type of quadrilateral we want to examine. Solution. Let the points be. Let the points be. A minus 3, 5, B 3, 1, C 0, 3 and D minus 1, minus 4 this. So first we have to find AB. AB means 3 minus minus 3 whole square and uh, 1 minus 5 whole square. 1 minus 5 whole square 3 minus minus 3 whole square 1 minus 5 whole square we get this so this is uh, 3 plus 3 whole square minus 4 whole square and this is 6 square plus 16 this is 36 plus 16 and this is 2 4 5 52 52 means 4 into 13 so this will be 2 root 13 we get 2 root 13 is a b now b c b c what we get this and this 0 minus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 1 whole square 0 minus 3 whole square, 3 minus 1 whole square this equal to this is minus 3 whole square 2 square this is 9 plus 4 root over 13. CD. CD. This and this. Minus 1 minus 0 whole square. Minus 1 minus 0 whole square. Minus 4 minus 3 whole square. And this is minus 1 square. This is minus 7 square. Uh, minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 square. Uh, we get this minus 7 square and this will be 1 plus 
49 this is 50 and 50 means 25 into 2 uh, 25 into 2 and this is 5 root 2 we get this CD now DA DA what you get DA DA uh, we start from D ending with A then we start answer this to this we write this is minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square and this is 5 minus minus 4 whole square minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square and 5 minus minus 4 whole square and this will be uh, minus 3 plus 1 whole square 5 plus 4 whole square this is minus 2 whole square plus 9 whole square this is 4 plus 81 this is 85 we get a b b c c d all the lengths are different this is 2 root 13 and this is 13 this these two are different all the measurements are different so this is not a quadrilateral if it is quadrilateral then either opposite sides are equal all sides are equal any one condition we get but all the lengths are different this is not a quadrilateral since since a b not equal to b c not equal to c d not equal to d a therefore therefore uh, a b c d is not a quadrilateral is not a quadrilateral answer no answer is no this is not a quadrilateral so this is our answer this is not a b c d not a quadrilateral or these points cannot form a quadrilateral so this is our solution now you consider number three four five seven six four three one two now whether it is what type of quadrilateral we, we want to examine let the points b a 4 comma 5 b 7 comma 6 c 4 comma 3 d 1 comma 2 now first we have to find distance between a and b this is 7 minus 4 whole square 6 minus 5 whole square this minus this whole square this minus this whole square so this will be uh, 3 whole square uh, 1 whole square this is 9 plus 1 this is root 10 we get this bc we have to find bc this minus this whole square 4 minus 7 whole square 3 minus 6 whole square 3 minus 6 whole square so this will be minus 3 whole square plus minus 3 whole square this is 9 plus 9 9 how many times 2 into 9 that is 18 so this is 3 root 2 we get cd c d 1 minus 4 whole square 2 minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square minus 1 whole square this is 9 plus 1 this is root 10 we get this now da da this minus this da so 4 minus d da this is x1 uh, x2 y2 this is x1 y1 so this will be 4 minus 1 whole square this is 5 minus 2 whole square this is 3 square plus 3 square this is 
9 plus 9. So 9 how many times? 2 times. So this is 3 root 2. Now what we get? Opposite sides are equal we get. Now we want to find AC and BD. Diagonals AC and BD. AC this to this. 4 minus 4 whole square. 3 minus 5 whole square. 3 minus 5 whole square. 4 minus 4 whole square. 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 whole square. And this will be 0 square minus 2 square. This is 4. This is 2. And BD we have to find. BD means this and this. 1 minus 7 whole square. Uh, 1 minus 7 whole square plus 2 minus 6 whole square. 2 minus 6 whole square. So this will be minus 6 whole square plus minus 4 whole square. So we get 36 plus 16. This is 2, 4, 5, 52. 52 means uh, 4 into 13 and this will be 2 root 13. We get this one. So this is 2 root 13. Now what we get? Now we want to draw the figure. So now what we get? We get a, B and C, D equal. A, B and C, D equal. And uh, B, C, B, C and D, A equal. This B, C and D, A or A, D equal. So opposite sides are equal. If opposite sides are equal, it may be either parallelogram or rectangle. But in rectangle, diagonals must be equal. But parallelogram diagonals are unequal. So what we get? AC diagonal we get 2 and BD diagonal, BD diagonal we get 2 root 13. So obviously these two are not equal. So what we conclude? We conclude that this given quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Therefore, since so what we get? We get AB equal to CD, BC equal to AD or DA. Uh, this we get also we get and AC not equal to BD. We get AB and BC, CD, DC equal, this and this equal and diagonals are not equal. Therefore, Therefore, A, B, C, D is a uh, parallelogram. Parallelogram. So, therefore, the given points, given vertices form a parallelogram. So, this is easy. Just you have to know the conditions of quadrilateral. So, this is a parallelogram. So, dear students, I think this solution is very easy. If this solution is very easy, then please subscribe my channel, like this video and do not forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.